Hey, what's up guys? Brandon Lee. I have a cool episode for you guys today. As part of my end of year projects with the home lab, I wanted to clean up my server rack and introduce some cable management. I'm running the SysRax 27U fully enclosed server rack that has served me well for the past five years or so. However, I have not, as of yet, had a proper patch panel installed in my server rack, as well as cable management for my twin X cables that are servicing most of my 10 gig uplinks. What we're gonna look at in this video is my phased approach to introducing that new cable management, that new patch panel, and introducing new slimline patch cables up top with the new patch panel into my top of rack switch. So I think you guys are going to enjoy this process that I have documented via video. In the first phase of the video, you will notice that I am going to reposition some of the equipment in the home lab rack. I had my firewall and a couple of other pieces of equipment in a non-optimal position as I had simply added other equipment into the rack as we often do without really correctly positioning everything. So that was phase one. I wanted to move some equipment in the rack so it would be better positioned to introduce the new cable management by means of the patch panel and the new slimline patch cables that would uplink from the new patch panel into my topper rack switch. So let's dive into phase one. By means of this time-lapse video, I'm going to show you guys the process of repositioning the network equipment in the SysRax 27U server rack. One of the first steps of this phase one of the project was removing some of the equipment from the server rack. Here I am removing one of the Panduit units that I had mounted underneath my 10 gig switch. One of the nice things about having redundant uplinks from my VMware ESXi hypervisor host was I was able to simply unplug one uplink from each host one at a time with everything running so I could get the cabling out of the Panduit unit and remove the unit. The next step of phase one is simply repeating the process. I am here removing the Panduit unit that is underneath the top of rack switch since it's in the position that I will be installing the new patch panel. Once again, I simply unplugged uplinks that I knew were okay to unplug at least for a few seconds on the one gig uplinks and rerouted the cabling as necessary. As you can see, I've successfully removed the second unit. Now I'm working on repositioning some of the networking gear by dropping down the 10 gig switch to a lower position in the rack. Additionally, I'm moving my cable modem up above the 10 gig switch as well as my firewall. This was a little bit more tricky as I had to take the network down just for a few seconds to unplug and replug uplinks to the firewall. The video that I've just shown you guys was after the what I'm calling phase one of my project to clean up the home lab server rack. I have not had a proper patch panel in my server rack and I've kind of cheated and fudged a little bit to make things look good. However, as one of my year end projects and hopefully as part of what I'm going to document for you guys to clean up the server rack, document everything, get some better cable management in place and get it into a state that I feel like I want it to be in. That is the end goal. And as you saw in the video footage that I have just shown you guys, as you can see, the server rack right now looks still very rough. I've got cables that are hanging out. I don't really have anything managed as of yet. However, I wanted to show you guys what I'm about to put in place. So I just purchased this off of Amazon. Uh, this is around $45. I grew up 
cutting my teeth on the era of punch down blocks and actually punching down cat five uh, cables into patch panels and i'm sure the purists out there would say that is the only way to do it however let me show you this patch panel and the reason i purchased that really appeals to me never owned one of these before but it actually has the keystones built into the back of the patch panel so i don't have to punch down any cables now this is a 24 port unit Again, I pulled it off, pulled the trigger on Amazon at around 45 bucks. This is rated at 10 gig. So the cable uplinks that I have that are UTP, I'm going to be able to uplink here. Uh, I actually have some of my older Supermicro servers that are 10 gig base T. This is rated at 10 gig. So this is the patch panel that I'm going to put in place up top at the top of rack to clean up a lot of these uplinks. You can't really see to the back of the rack and I'm gonna to try to get a video of this, but currently what I have is just the cables. As nicely as I could route them, they aren't punched down. They aren't patched into a proper patch panel. It's just literally the cable run into the switch. Same goes for the firewall. Everything is just running directly in the switch. Now, you can make that look fairly good, However, it is extremely difficult to make everything line up to have the cable links like I want them and have wanted them. I have had this piece of equipment, actually a couple of those, in the home lab rack, all of my videos previous that you guys have seen. This is Panduit. If you guys have never seen this before, this allows you to make pretty awful looking cabling actually look really good at least you can't see it and it makes everything look seamless so the way this works that just snaps into place it's uh, basically just like a piece of raceway almost it looks like and it has the the grooves that fit in and snap into the base of the unit and really the reason i want to keep this unit in the rack i have for all of my my 10 gig runs I say all of them, most of the super micro servers are uplinked via TwinX. TwinX is very thick, it's very uh, almost hard to deal with uh, in a sense. They make some thinner TwinX as well, which I have some of that. There's no patch panel, so to speak, for TwinX, at least that I know of. You guys may correct me on that. What I'm planning on doing is I'm just simply going to use the Panduit to make every, all of my TwinX cables uh, fit in here. And I'm going to, hopefully once I clean the rest of the top up, it will make it much easier to line everything up, make it look like I want it to look and look really nice. And as you can see up top, again, I have the, the cables and just kind of ran around to the side. I'm going to install the patch panel i'm going to run the existing cabling here and this also i didn't show this before probably have it upside down this actually uh, pops into play. It has a cable management bar on the back where you can run your cables over the top of it and then they did include uh, some you know zip ties that fit into the notches that you see here not really sure if i'm going to make use of that however it is available to me so i do like this though because it all of the tension will be and that's really the purpose uh, more so than just making it look nice this allows this bar to take most if any of the tension that you have on your cables and especially if you zip tie those uh, to this uh, cable management bar on the back so you guys are going to see me install this and i'm going to this is the next phase and i'm actually waiting on some patch cables to finish out the top of the rack and make it look like i uh, envisioned let's get the patch panel installed I am here installing the new patch panel into the server rack. I had to back off some of the screws to get everything to line up correctly. At this point, I had received my shipment of slim run patch cables as well. So here I am patching everything in after plugging in the previous uplinks into the back of the patch panel. Part of the time consuming challenge was just simply figuring out what links I needed on the uplinks. I had ordered both half and one foot links on the slim run patch cables. And that's what I was doing here is just simply figuring out what links I needed for which uplinks. 
After tidying up the uplinks, I worked on the side of the rack, running the cabling in a more efficient manner, bundling this up and making everything look good from the internals of the rack. You may be wondering, how did everything turn out? Well, I am very pleased with the results of this home lab project, introducing the new patch panel as well as repositioning the equipment in the server rack and reusing the existing Panduit that I had in a more efficient way with the new cable runs. So let's take a look at the end result. Let me know what you think about the end result. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing this time-lapse footage of introducing the new patch panel, rerouting the cables, and the end result. I've got more planned for the home lab server rack before the end of the year, and hopefully I'll be able to share with you guys some updates on that as well. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys soon.